is there an example of a director that you've worked with that kind of exemplifies what you're talking about, like the ultimate in preparation? I'd say Eastwood. Yeah. Uh, you know, I learned a lot from Clint. Very importantly, it's a it's a it's an anecdotal thing that he doesn't say action or cut, which, you know, you kind of go well. Who cares? But right. what it does is it creates this world where the difference between um, the the time when you're not shooting to the time when you're shooting it all becomes one process. The camera turning on doesn't turn into some big different world. And it right. really shouldn't be. It shouldn't be as, as actors and it shouldn't be as crew. You know, it shouldn't be like, okay, now we cut, now we're all just fucking around, we're on our phones. Everybody runs in, yeah. Yeah, everybody runs in or that, 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 that lunch and all that kind of stuff. You know, it should be, it should be one whole continuous process. But because uh, one of the students is messaging me, asked for clarification on how he does it. I mean, instead, instead of instead of action and cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what is the yeah. process? Well, okay. Um, now this was back, you know, quite a few years ago. There were no open walkie-talkies, so you could never hear a walkie-talkie go off. Everybody had comments on. Um, sometimes he would turn on the camera for rehearsal uh, and, and, and we would just even shoot the rehearsal. He would just tell the cameraman. And um, he wouldn't, he would say, uh, okay guys, go ahead, whenever you're ready. You know? Um, and then when the thing was over, he'd, he'd kind of pause and he'd go, look around and go, okay, that's enough of that. You know, <laughs> I mean, that was it. And then we'd sort of go, oh, we're moving on? Yeah, but there was no screaming, yelling, you know what I mean? It was, yeah. just, it was just a different, different kind of vibe.